Good morning. Welcome to the heart of Longmont. I'm so glad that you're here. It is our celebration Sunday. Wow. I know. I'm excited. I'm ready to have something to celebrate. So I'm so glad that you're here. You search much deeper I know better still I forget you always keep your promises Come on, stand yes. up and dance my friend Come on, swing Woo. There's joy in the house of the Lord Dancing. There's joy in the house of the Lord today and we won't be quiet We'll shout out and pray <laughs> What I mean is this, the one who sows a small number of seeds will also reap a small crop. And the one who sows a generous amount of seeds will also reap a generous crop. The one who supplies seed for planting and bread for eating will supply and multiply your seed and will increase your harvest, which is righteousness. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous in every way. Such generosity produces thanksgiving to God through us. Harvest is talked about close to 2,000, or 2,000, my gosh, 200 times in the scripture. And oftentimes it's referring, sometimes it's referring to actual crops, but most of the time it is used metaphorically. And in the story today, when he's talking about harvest, Jesus isn't talking about wheat or grapes or barley. He's talking about human beings. Because see, that's what Jesus has been doing. Remember in Jesus' three years of ministry, of active public ministry on this earth as he made his way through the world. He's been out in the harvest field. He's been drawing people back into a life of faith. He is saying to his disciples what he is saying to us today, his followers. He's saying, I need you and a world that is hurting to offer hope and kindness and life and joy and love. He is saying it is our job to go out in the fields and work and heal and offer mercy and forgiveness and grace. And he said, you are to be people of righteousness. Do you remember, remember the first week I talked about Sedekah, that we are to be in the world offering justice and righteousness and love. We are to be allies with those who are vulnerable and marginalized. And Jesus stopped. And he said to his disciples, as he says to us today, who else is going to do it if it's not you and me? Today we celebrate that part of our story is that we have been saved by grace and that we get to celebrate goodness in God's grace in our lives. And no matter what life looks like for you today, God's goodness is so plentiful. And God is a God that we can rely on. So it is worth celebrating. See, we are going to continue. We will be marching. We will be praying. We will be serving. We will go into the world and it will be our holy, sacred parish. 
God needs us. The world needs us. So go. Go into a hurting world. Go into the harvest fields. Go and get to work. Amen and go eat. Amen. Amen.